Good morning and welcome to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. <clears throat> Today we're going to have brunch at the uh, Grand Floridian, Floridian Cafe. <laughs> Which is not something easy to say. Uh, this uh, I would say early in the morning, but it's eleven something. 11, so it's eleven oh five ish. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, come with us and uh, experience this brunch that Disney Food Blog says you shouldn't miss, and we've never had. So we'll find out. The Grand Floridian Cafe is on the first floor of the Grand Floridian, just right off the lobby, and uh, it's in the same general area as 1900 Park Fair. It's liter that restaurant's literally right next door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to go in, get ourselves. Uh, so we came a little bit earlier, so we kind of poked around the resort a little bit. There's a nice few stores up in the top level of the Grand Floridian that are worth looking at. Uh, if you are interested in basin soaps at all, uh, like the store at Disney Springs, there's actually a basin soap store here at the Grand Floridian in the upstairs. Uh, so we're going to go and get seated for uh, brunch. Yes. Um, if you like these kind of dining reviews and everything, make sure you give us a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Let us know that those are the kind of things that you like to do. But uh, right now, I think what we like to do is eat. And leave a comment down below. What is your favorite brunch on Disney property? Oh, good question. I don't know why I look at that. Good question. Ah. <laughs> so we are here at the Grand Floridian Cafe for their brunch. We'll put pictures of the menu here. <laughs> um, we have uh, gotten our drinks and put our order in. I went with a more traditional brunch option of brioche French toast with an addition of Florida's finest strawberries and strawberry sauce and whipped cream. And I'll let Daniel tell da bleh, I'll let Daniel tell you what he got. I ordered the trio of Benedicts, which includes a lobster Benedict, a traditional Benedict, and a chorizo sausage Benedict. Uh, it comes with a marinated tomato salad, but as I view tomatoes to be the fruit of the devil, I uh, politely asked if I could get french fries instead, which I was given a thumbs up on. So that is what I will be having here this morning. I got a lovely tea uh, service here. Well, not tea service, but iced tea. Uh, I think Zach got coffee with cream that looks to be like actual cream over there. So uh, if my keto eyes are not uh, failing me here, I believe that is real cream. So anyway, we will... Uh, dig in when the food gets here. So, I'm pleased with, uh, with the Grand Floridian Cafe brunch. I had the uh, brioche French toast with the added strawberries and sugar cookie and chantilly cream. I am very glad that I paid the extra $3.50 to add that on because the French toast itself was pretty basic, but when you added the uh, accoutrements, uh, it really enhanced the flavors of the dish. It was also served with some bacon, which was standard issue bacon. It was fine. Um, but yeah, it was it was very good uh, overall, and the the coffee was good. I think it's standard issue. Uh, I use that phrase a lot. It's standard uh, Joffrey's coffee, uh, not nearly as bitter or burnt as say a Starbucks roast. And yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at with that. So my trio of Benedicts, did I say that right? I think I said that right, yeah. Uh, were very different, but all very good. The Starting from the one side, just having the basic Benedict, uh, the hollandaise sauce was very heavy on the lemon, and I was worried that the rest of the Benedicts would carry through with that hollandaise sauce. But it appeared that they used a different mix of hollandaise for each individual one. So the lemony one on the basic... Uh, hollow, uh, Benedict it was probably my least favorite, but still really good. Kind of like a Benedict you would get on a buffet here or anywhere. It's just you know, with the Canadian bacon, nothing special, nothing to write home about. The egg was poached perfectly, though. The second one, the lobster one, had a very buttery taste to the uh, holiday sauce that really brought out the lobster. Um, my first bite, I had some of the lemon from the previous uh, Benedict in it, and I was worried that I was going to carry through, but it did. It, it the the Benedict the lobster Benedict very very good 
Uh, probably the most interesting one is the chorizo Benedict, which had a spicy kind of a hollandaise sauce. Uh, it had some pepper in it. It was not enormously spicy, but definitely uh, not a sweet hollandaise. It was very spicy. It gave it a really interesting taste. Uh, the chorizo was really good. I I think if I were to come back, I would either get just the lobster Benedict or the chorizo Benedict as its own dish, which you can, uh, as opposed to getting the flight again. Very good, though. Uh, I uh, had a wonderful time here at the Grand Floridian Cafe. This is our first time eating here, and uh, it was definitely uh, delicious. My tea was good, but, you know, how do you mess up tea? So, uh, the uh, uh, overall, though, price-wise, not that bad. The two of us to eat brunch uh, here with uh, with our annual pass discount came out to under fifty dollars uh, for the even with the add-on for the French toast that Zach got. Uh, it was you know very very reasonable here. A very delicious lunch and uh, walking distance to the Magic Kingdom. Well, not walking yet, but as soon as they finish that walkway, uh, so it's. Uh, it's a short trip. Let's just say that. A short trip from the Magic Kingdom, a delicious brunch for under $50. Certainly better than anything that I would get in the park. So, we have now completed our uh, meal at the Grand Floridian. Uh, like we said, probably one of the, the better breakfasts here on, or brunches here on property. That, Nothing on the... Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, that speaker is getting really loud. Let's, like, let's, let's walk a different way. But uh, what were you going to say? Nothing on the California Grill Brunch, but that's a signature dining experience and, you know, yeah. $250. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for something for under $50 for a couple, this is absolutely uh, well worth it. Uh, hey, if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Leave comments down below. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what yeah. you think we can do better. That's right. And if you want to follow us on the socials, all of our information is down below in the doobly-doos. So until that's next time. For now. See you, See you real, real soon. soon. Ooh, monorail. <laughs>